Hello, my name is Samuel Keith Harris, and welcome back to another episode of Morning Devotionals. I'm glad you clicked onto this video. I pray that you'd be blessed and encouraged to live your life in God today. So if you want to open up your Bibles and follow along, I'm going to be in Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. And I'm going to be reading at verse 17. The Bible says, With the Lord's authority I say this, Live no longer as the Gentiles do, for they are hopelessly confused. Their minds are full of darkness, they wander far from the life God gives, because they have closed their minds and hardened their hearts against Him. They have no sense of shame, they live for lustful pleasure, and eagerly practice every kind of impurity. So the Lord's obviously not pleased with this kind of behavior. So this is not the behavior that us Christians are supposed to partake in in our daily lives. And today, as you go about your day, do not partake in the sins that, that the Gentiles do, that the people who are without God and without hope and without the covenant relationship between us and God through the mediator Christ Jesus, don't live like that. The Bible says they're hopelessly confused, their minds are full of darkness, and they wander far from the life of God and that they have closed their hearts and minds against the Lord. So we're not to live that way. Uh, in verse 20, the Bible actually says, but that isn't what you learned about Christ, that way of living. Since you have heard about Jesus and have learned the truth that comes from him, throw off your old sinful nature. Today, throw off your old sinful nature. Don't make excuses for how you're weak and how you continue to sin. No, throw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life, the way you used to live, which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the Spirit, the Spirit of God, renew your thoughts and attitudes. Put on your new nature, created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. God has given you a new nature through Jesus Christ and Christ living in you. And the Bible says to put on that new nature which is created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. And then it, it, it lists many things. Stop telling lies. Tell your neighbor the truth. Uh, don't sin by being angry. And don't let the sun go down while you're still angry, for anger gives a foothold to the devil. If you let anger run rampant in your life, the devil will be in your life, uh, messing up your relationships and other things like that. You know, the Bible says in James to be slow to speak, quick to listen and slow to get angry many people are quick to get angry they're very fast to speak and they don't ever want to listen but that that's not how we're to live as christians the bible says if you're a thief quit stealing instead use your hands for good hard work and then give generously to others in need it says don't use foul or abusive language let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them is that the way you're living this is the way we should be living today as we go about in our workplaces, around the people that we're around. Let us speak encouraging words, life-giving words, words that would lead people to Christ, words that would we would conduct ourselves in moral excellence and people would see that our conduct is pure before the Lord. And verse 30, and do not bring sorrow to God's Holy Spirit by the way you live. Did you know that you can bring sorrow to God by how you live? The Bible says don't bring God, don't bring sorrow to God's Holy Spirit by the way you live. Remember, he identified you as his own, guaranteeing that you will be saved on the day of redemption. So get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. Instead, be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ Jesus has forgiven you. So today, I ask that you would fix your attention on the Lord, His beauty, the beauty of His holiness, the beauty of the standard that He's called us to live as we live a life in Christ Jesus. Father, I ask that you would bless the hearer right now with the divine ability through your Holy Spirit to walk out as Christ would walk out their day today in jesus name i pray lord that you'd shine through them that you live through them and get the glory the most glory you could get out of their life father in jesus name and may people start to come to the lord through their life through their surrendered life that they would see christ in them who is the hope of glory so we love you father and we praise you it's in your precious holy name we pray 
Amen. I hope you were blessed, edified, and encouraged, and I will see you next time.